Tony's Tractor Adventure. Welcome back to the channel. We are here at our farm, and yesterday we went and picked up this uh, TYM T264 from Johnson's Equipment in New Bern, Tennessee. And uh, Dave set this up for us when we were at the National Farm Machinery Show to demo this tractor on our channel. So we've got the, we're gonna, what we're gonna do here, he told us to work it uh, like we owned it. I'm gonna say we work it like we stole it. And uh, so we got the uh, Work Savers pallet forks on. We're gonna lift some trees with it. Uh, we've got the, we're gonna do two things that I think are probably the most violent things you can do with a, with a, a tractor of this size is we have the uh, we have the wood chipper on it. This thing is made for four by four by six limbs that'll go in this wood chipper. And inside that wood chipper, you have these blades coming around and they're cutting these big pieces of wood. And it's a really violent act in here and it puts a lot of pressure on the tractor. So that's gonna really tell something about this tractor. And then if you look up on the back of the trailer, we've got a five foot really heavy tiller on the back of the trailer. And what we're gonna do with that, now that five foot tiller is probably at the top limit of this tractor because it's a 25 horsepower tractor. And we're gonna make it even worse because we're gonna, we're gonna put it in virgin dirt. This dirt's probably never been turned over or touched in, you know, since God created it. So you guys come along for the ride. This has position control. So if I put it here, it goes to the same place. No matter where I stop it at, it goes to the same place. And that's really good if, like if you're tilling and there's a lot of application where that's important like uh, the brush hog and uh, rotary cutting any kind of rotary cutter that's a, that's a really nice feature so you know if you put it here it's going to be in the same place every time all right we're going to play around here with a with a work saver forks this thing has uh i think we've already pointed out it has the uh quick attach it's a standard skid steer quick attach so you know, you can uh, use so many different kind of uh, applications on this or different types of attachments. Okay, they, the hydraulics are very responsive. They're, uh, I mean, this is at idle. So they move up and down this fast at idle. The, it's, the, the loader's strong. I mean, I can tell that off. I can feel it when I lift up. I can feel the back end lift up. So it's gonna be very important for this tractor, if you're gonna to try to lift as much as you can with this loader, it's gonna be very important that you uh, uh, have a, the right kind of ballast on the back of this. So before I lift anything crazy heavy, I may put the tiller on because this wood chipper is not as heavy. So we'll, we'll see what it does. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, uh, this is a, a big old uh, tree. I have no idea what it is, uh, but it's big. I know that. I'm just going to lift it up and, and show you guys the kind of power the, the hydraulics have. I don't think we'll lift the tree. I think we'll lift the back of the tractor. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You're gonna to have to have the proper ballast on the back of this. So uh, something like a, a, a weight box, you're gonna to have to have a weight box, or you're gonna to have to have a, like the tiller, this, you know, that tiller's a six, 700 pounds. Yeah, a ballast box is gonna be very much necessary. You can see that it picks the back end of it up. I need a ballast box, probably gonna need the tires loaded. And then, uh, and this is a heavy tractor. What, I, what I'm telling you is, is the loader is just that strong. Uh, this thing will lift uh, 1,300, almost 1,400 pounds, 19 inches in front of the pin, which is basically the end of your bucket. That's where it'll lift 1,400 pounds is what it's rated at. So generally, it'll probably lift more than that because they always underrate loaders. Uh, I don't, I get the suspicion that if I had enough weight on the back end of this, this, this tree might actually move. I'm picking it up a little bit. So we're gonna find something a little lighter. 
but still, heavy enough. The grappler would be nice right in here. I forgot to say it has an indicator, a level indicator on it. That really only comes into play with your bucket, but you can put two marks on it. You can put a mark on it for your bucket and a mark on it for your fork lifts. And this is a very capable tractor. I'm telling you, it's in that sweet spot of the size that it, the real sweet spot. I put the bucket on, come over here and push this around a little bit. Tim, Tim at WorkSaver is probably, he's probably uh, cringing right now as I abuse the, the, the forklifts, or the forks the way I am. I tell you, uh, uh, the the auto throttle, as you push harder on the throttle, is nice. I, I've never been on a tractor that does that before. I've been on a big equipment that does it, but this is the first tractor that I've ever had that has the auto throttle with a hydrostatic. It's nice. I mean, that's a nice feature. All right, here's a good example. Uh, this thing, there's on my left foot, there's a button. I'll show you a picture of it in a little bit. Push down it with your, it's a lever. You push down your foot, and we'll lock the rear end. So then when I lock the rear end, both wheels in the back will pull at the same time. They don't have the limited slip. And then when you when you want to be able to turn in your yard and not damage your yard, you just, you know, you don't have that engaged and all of a sudden your rear end's free. But as you turn a sharp corner, it doesn't, it doesn't tear your yard up. So. It's really, really muddy out here. I noticed that, so. Yeah, I got to get some weight on the back of this thing to, to make it, to uh, bring it to its potential, it needs some weight on the back end. This thing has got huge potential for such a small tractor. The hydraulics on it are very responsive for the size tractor it is. They've got the hydraulic pump matched really well uh, to what to, to what you're doing or for what it is it's perfectly matched uh, I, a lot of thoughts went into it yeah I got to get grapples uh, put on put on I talked with Tim from work savers and he has agreed to send us a set of his new uh, electric uh, grapples which would be perfect for this tractor. And it would make really uh, short work of this kind of work. All right, that was impressive. Uh, first, first time doing this on this tractor. I have no complaints. 
Uh, it just, everything works, everything feels in the right place. Uh, I've not even used any of the other stuff yet. Got a horn. Anyway, first time I've used the tractor, I'm telling you, everything just seems right. I have not even touched the throttle because I have used this throttle system on the tractor. So, but this is nice for bush hogging. Listen to that. I don't know if you guys can hear it through this mic. This mic actually muffles stuff. But this engine is super smooth. Guys, this is wide open and this is really quiet compared to the Yanmar. Much quieter uh, engine than the Yanmar. And you guys know I love the Yanmar engine. I'm not down in the Yanmar. But when they're running it wide open, they are, they are deafening. Y'all stay tuned for part two and three where we run this tractor through its paces with the wood chipper and the tiller. God bless and have a great day.